Hello guys, this is Amos Soul Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Goodbye Farewell from Christopher Robin, okay? The meaning behind the song has a pretty sad message to it, but it, the tune itself, the melody, is a quite happy and catchy tune, okay? I'll give you a preview of what you can learn, it's pretty awesome, it goes like this, really jumpy. Okay, let's get right into it. So, we're gonna learn the melody and block chords first at the end, I'll tell you the left hand pattern that appears throughout the entire song. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, okay, let's break it up to parts to learn it. Okay, first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the G here, middle C, G, okay? G up to C, C, B, B, A, G, A, B, A. That's the first part, one more time for this first part. So it goes like this, G, C, C, B, B A G A B A and that's the first part. Once you get the first part, let's do the left hand for this first part. Left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are doing block chords, C major, C E G. The second chord is first inversion of E. Well no, it's um yeah, yeah. This is the uh, second inversion of E minor actually, so which is the B E G. Okay. So yeah, with that in mind, so uh, B E G. Then the third chord goes back to C major, which is C E G. Okay, so yeah, with those three chords in mind, so C major, second inversion of E minor, and then C major, the two hands together goes like this. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. So right hand starts on the G, C and C major together, B and the next chord together, A and C major together, like that. Okay, one more time, so like this. Together, together. And that's the first part, okay? So remember, do it like this first at the end, I'll tell you the pattern to it, okay? But anyway, moving on to the second part, right hand got two, it goes A, G, A, B, A, G, A, G, A, B, A. And that's the second part for the right hand. One more time for the second part, so it goes A, G, A, B, A, G, A, G, A, B, A. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are, okay, C major, which is C, E, G. And then the second chord, interesting chord here, we have a kind of like a G7, but with only three notes, D, F, G. Yeah, so it's D, F, G, remember that. Okay, so remember. So one more time, so C major and D, F, G. Okay, so with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, A and C major together. A and the next chord together. Like that. Okay. Once you get that, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we'll be playing like this, check it out. Third part, right hand continues. Right hand's actually exactly the same as the right hand in the first part, so you save some time. Okay, exactly the same as the right hand there. But the left hand, this time we have two chords here only. The two chords, you actually know them as well, it's the DFG chord twice. So pretty simple, you just put it like this. So G, C, and the chord together. Together. And that's the third part, okay? So it's pretty easy. The right hand is exactly the same as the first part, and the left hand is just two of the DFG chords, okay? It's like this. One more time for the third part, like this. And that's the third part. Back to back, the three parts of blunt so far. We'll be playing like this. Check it out. To the fourth part. Fourth part right hand continues, it goes A, G, A, B, A, G, A, G, A, B, A. And that's it, okay? Once again, the right hand here is the ex pretty much the exact same thing as the second part this time, okay? However, the right hand um, is that, but the left hand is like pretty interesting. You know, the second part is C major, then the D, F, G chord. This time it's the opposite way around. It's D, F, G chord first, followed by C major. So, pretty simple stuff. It's like another pattern going on here. So, Remember, the two hands together, same placement as the second part, but this fourth part is reversed chords, and the right hand's exactly the same, like this. Like that. Pretty simple, right? Just like that. So, together. Together. 
patterns everywhere, okay? So that's the fourth part, really similar to the second part with just the chords switched around, okay? Back to back, the four parts of Blunt so far would be played like this, check it out. Okay, we're just gonna group these four parts just then. We're gonna move on now to the next, uh, the fifth part, okay? So we wouldn't repeat the four parts we've just learned. That, pretend that's like a section by itself, okay? So here we go. Moving on, fifth part, right hand continues, goes G, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, C. And that's the fifth part. One more time for this fifth part. So it goes G, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, C. And that's it for the fifth part for the right hand. Okay, so there are a total of eight parts here, so we're just gonna do five, six, seven, eight by its group as, uh, just like the group of that, okay? So we won't do the one, two, three, four anymore, back to back, until the end of the lesson. But anyway, so yeah, one more time, so G, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, C, and that's it for the right hand. Left hand, three chords here, the three chords are C major, C, E, G. Second chord is this, interesting, it's like a C7 chord, but without the C, so just B flat, E, G. Okay, and the third chord is F major, which is F A C. So with these three chords in mind, so C major, and then the B flat E G chord, and then F major, two hands together goes like this. So Ryan starts on the G, C and C major together, B flat and the chord together, A and F major together, like that. One more time, like this. Together, together, together. Just like that, okay? Together, together, together. Like that. Okay, that's the fifth part. Moving on to the sixth part, right hand continues, goes A, D, C, B, A, B, G, A, B, G. Okay, so that's that. One more time, so it goes like this. A, D, C, B, A, B, G, A, B, G. And that's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords, two chords are D major, D, F sharp, A. Second chord, G major, G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, so D major and G major, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts on the A, D and D major together. B and G major together. And that's it for the sixth part. One more time. Together. Together. Like that. Okay. Back to back, the fifth and the sixth part would be played like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the seventh part. Seventh part, right hand continues. Goes A, B, C, C, B, B, A, G, A, B, A. Just like that. One more time. So it goes like A, B, C, C, B, B, A, G, A, B, A. And that's the right hand for the seventh part. Left hand, three chords, three chords are C major, C, E, G. Then we have the second version, E minor, B, E, G, and A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with these three chords in mind, C major, second version, E minor, A major. Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts, C and C major together. B and chord together. A and A major together. And that's it, like this. Together, together, together. Back to back, fifth, sixth, seventh part, we'll be playing like this, check it out. Eighth and last part goes like this, right hand goes A, B, C, A, B, G, C, and that's it, one more time, so you like this, A, B, C, A, B, G, C, and that's it. Left hand, three chords finishing off, three chords are D minor, D, F, A, second chord G major, G, B, D, and third chord C major, C, E, G. So with these three chords in mind, D minor, G major, C major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, C and D minor together, B and G major, C and C major together, like that, one more time like this, together, 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 and that's it, okay, so back to back, fifth, six, seven, eight part where we play like this, check it out. So remember, right hand melody has a swing pattern going on, so swing quavers. So that's something for you to remember. So da 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 that kind of feel towards it, okay? So that's why it's kind of like happy kind of feel towards it, even with like a sad connotation behind them. Um, so, but anyway, yeah, once you get all that, you can add the left hand pattern, which is really simple for all of the chords. This is the pattern you want to do in all of the chords. In this lesson is three note chords. So you want to play the lowest note of the chord, followed by the higher two notes, followed by the highest note one octave below, and back to the higher two notes again, like that. So we do that, apply for all the chords, even for this one, yeah, and then even the uh, D, F, G chord, 
same thing, okay? So you apply that to all of the chords and then just play it together like this. It requires some hand independence, but yeah, if you're still a beginner, get the melody and block chords version correct first, then apply that pattern like this. Like that. fun song hope you enjoyed this lesson go ahead check out the rest of my channel if you like these step-by-step -step tutorials because literally I have multiple thousands of them for you to enjoy and learn from check it out also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff anyway that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.